Hello friends and family of YouTube. Today I have a Microlite 21 FBRS. If you are not familiar with this model, you are gonna love it. This particular one, I have done a video about two, maybe three years ago, and has had 486,000 views on that, that particular one. So I've got a 2020 here and I wanna show you around it show you the new things that have come on it this uh this new year and uh let you see the difference between the new and the old so let's uh go ahead and start on the outside and i'll take you on the inside and while i'm uh, back here in the back side i go ahead and show you that i am over at northgate rv and that's over in chattanooga tennessee ringgold area and um First thing I notice on here is they have a receiver hitch on here now. I have not seen that before. I think the last time I got one of these was a 2018 model. And uh, you can see they've also got a ladder on here. One thing you'll like if you do come over to Northgate, they give you a golf cart, give you the keys to it, and you go out here and shop all you want. So uh, anyway, I appreciate them letting me come here and do this today. So on this 21 FBRS, you have an outside shower you've got city water connection you've also got uh all your flush tank system here you can flush out your black and your gray and you can also put your antifreeze rv antifreeze in here so that when you're getting ready to winterize it now one thing i want to point out is it does have your black and your gray tank dumps right out here all in one system and you've also got an electric uh, system for your four corners. And you see packs. this one does have a slide out of course and it does have a cover awning over the slide. The good of that is, is it does help keep your seals from getting weatherized, dried out from the sun or uh, from any moisture being able to get in there. Also out here on the front end I like that they did give you a light out here so that at night time you could see how to hook up your your vehicle back to it and uh, be able to do some of your outside work you also notice that uh, one change they did make is uh, a couple years ago they had a big tray here where you could put probably about six batteries or you could put a uh, a small generator they have got rid of that system now they're back down to just two battery tray and they do have uh, two propane and uh, you've got a got your electric tongue jack there as well so I was talking about the uh, stabilizers, and here is the, uh, the product name if you want to look that up and kind of get a better idea on it. And let me show you while I'm here as well the, uh, the size of the uh, storage up under the bed. This is up under the front of the RV. It's under the bed. And I forgot to mention that this does have it pre-wired for solar. So if you want to put a small solar system outside here and just tap it in to keep your uh, batteries charged up, you can. And also out here, we've got uh, two speakers and there's also an awning on here as well for the outside. And I love that they have upgraded these steps from a couple of years ago when I got to film one of these last. Now, I don't believe that I mentioned it, folks, but I do not work for the company that makes these or sell these, so you're gonna see this from my perspective. I don't care if you buy one of these or 10 of them. <laughs> so anyway, let's go inside this Flagstaff 21 FBRS and see what we got going on. Well, we're in luck today, folks. I came prepared. I have a battery pack hooked up to this particular unit, and I am gonna get to show you what this particular unit looks like with all the lights on. So I am, I am tickled about that. Well, I did talk with a salesman, and he told me that the refrigerator is a larger size. So that is something that they have upgraded this year for this uh, particular model. And you can also move these trays. These are movable trays. You can see the different locations that you can set them to. Kind of suit your needs a little better. And like I said, we're right here by the door. So let me open this up and show you what kind of storage they got. Got three, three drawers here. And you can also put your uh, hang your clothes from there as well. And let me show you the bathroom while we were here at the bathroom. 
21 FBRS has been my favorite for many years for many reasons. As far as the layout of it, I like the way that it's laid out, uh, not only through the coach, but also through the bathroom. The one thing, if I would to say anything that I wished was a little different, is if you'll notice the commode here, if you were sitting at the commode, you would have leg room, but you do not have elbow room to do your paperwork. So, let me show you inside this cabinet here. Now, this cabinet only sits about eight inches deep, so you could put you some, uh, some linens for the bathroom in here, maybe some bathroom supplies, but you probably would not be able to store a whole lot of clothing in there. Let me show you up in the, in the ceiling here. They do have one of the upgraded fans, so I always like to see that anytime we can. Now, the salesman was also telling me that one of the new things for this model is if you notice here on the shower, you got this blue thing here. Well, to, to keep from wasting a lot of water, you can turn on the water and it will recirculate through here so that when this turns a different color, you will know that your water is hot. That way you're not wasting a whole lot of water. All right, waiting on it to get warm. And up here in the in the ceiling of the shower, you've got a little more headroom. And me being six one, that really helps out. And you also notice they gave you a little bag to hang you some hang you some shampoos and that kind of thing in here. And also right over the uh, bathroom sink, you got about a four inch deep medicine cabinet here, and it also has a mirror on it as well. And down below that, of course, you can see that you can put your uh, toothbrushes there, put you, a, put you a little cup, or uh, man, maybe you can mount something here. That way, if you had your beer set in there, you'd have it to where it wouldn't fall all the way through. And you've got a uh, sink here as well, and got you a little area to put toothbrushes or sponges or whatever you need to. And down below, this is not an actual storage area, but it does give you the access to your water pump and all of your uh, plumbing accessories under there. Also, I did not mention, but right here, it did give you an outlet so that you could plug your hair dryer. That's probably what this is for, is you just stick the hair dryer down in there, just like a gun into a holster. All right, so now let's check out this uh, kitchen setup. And again, they have given you about everything you're gonna need in here. And uh, I don't see a lot of changes, but I still want to show you what's going on here, just in case you did not see my previous video. Uh, you've got a two bowl stainless steel sink here, and you've got, um, I'm not sure what this countertop material is, but it's like a faux marble. And right under the uh, sink area, you've got somewhere you can put sponges or scrub brushes or whatever you need to. And also down here, they gave you a pretty good size uh, little uh, drawer here this is probably about five inches deep and it's about a 20 by 20 so there's plenty of room for storage uh, in there as well and they've also given you a uh, an oven look at how much space there is in that you probably could cook a turkey in there or a couple of good size chickens if you wanted to and you've got uh, got some drawers here as well to put uh, maybe one of them as a junk drawer maybe the other one is some of the uh, larger kitchen cutlery. And also I did not mention, but you do have a three burner cooktop on the uh, stove oven combo here. And right up above, you've got a window here to give you plenty of natural lighting. And you've got you a fan here as well. And outside we got Virgil out there. See Virg. <laughs> and so anyway, we've got a uh, microwave up above. You, uh, it's just a standard. This is not a convection type. But since you do have the uh, stove oven combo, you should be fine with just a regular microwave. And right above there, you also have two good sized cabinets. I love that they put the struts on that. You can lift that up with one hand and be able to put you some groceries in there or whatever you need to. And one thing I need to point out before I forget is there is an outlet right there so that if you had you a blender or whatever here on the countertop, you would be able to plug it in right there so you got pretty good easy access. Now, uh, as I get to the TV here, you do have room that you could put a larger TV. That's probably about a 20, 21 inch, something like that. So uh, you could definitely go larger if you wanted to. And this uh, stereo uh, system here is plugged into the TV as well. So you can put DVDs, CDs, or 
uh, Bluetooth, all kinds of great stuff. And you can also use a Roku stick in here as well. So uh, that's always nice to be able to have. Now I also want to show you right here, you've got this little table that will pop up and give you a little more extra table room so that either for cooking uh, or whatever, but somebody could also sit right here, put a small laptop on there as well. So uh, kind of works as a dual purpose. Got windows all the way around. You've got them on each side. Plus you've also got one up on the front end as well. And right here, you've got some storage. Let me see if I can reach that. We've got some boxes over here on the side. So it makes it a little difficult for me to get there. But anyway, you've got to where you can hang some clothing there and uh, plenty of room to put you some shoes and stuff on this forward end as well. And you've got a drawer that pulls out on this side and this bed will also lift up and it's got struts on it as well. And you've got plenty of storage down below. If you notice, there's also three drawers down below so that you can put more stuff in there, maybe socks or whatever. And on the other side of the bed, you've got to where you've got uh, USB ports. You've got a cigarette uh, cigarette lighter set up there as well. And also 110. That way, if you need a CPAP or something like that, you've got that capability. And this cabinet here is just like the other one that I showed you. And right up there, you've got a couple of small areas where you can also do some more storage. One thing I wish that they did not do is they do have this, uh, this vent right over the bed. The problem you uh, incur with having that is you will have moisture that will drip from that if you ever camp in the wintertime. If you got a heater going in here, um, that hot air meets that cold air outside and it will cause uh, moisture condensation. Now there is a product that you can buy and you can put up in there and it will keep the uh, hot air from meeting the cold air and cut down on that moisture issue. And also, if you'll notice, you've got a draw curtain that you can pull across here to give you some uh, privacy. And you can pull that across from both sides. And also, I did not mention, but there is uh, two speakers back there on that side of this uh, camper. And you've also got the uh, air conditioned duct into the ceiling. And over on this side, we've got uh, two speakers as well. And what this does is it carries carries for your sound right over this couch area. Now this couch will fold out and make into a small bed. But if you notice, you've also got a table here. This table will fold up and it will go behind the couch. There's about an eight inch gap back there that goes all the way along the back side of the couch. So you can take this table and put it back there out of the way or you can take this table outside because these legs do fold up underneath it and uh, make it to where you can take it out there as well. So again, you've got uh, your duct, air conditioning duct into the ceiling and you've got, um, got your speakers up in here. You've got four of them and you've got plenty of lighting all the way through. I'll tell you what, let me give you a layout of the land that we've got going on here. So if I get as far back as I can, I am right over the bed area and I am at the front of the camper. So I'm right at the bed looking towards the rear of the camper. And let me get you a view from the rear of the camper facing towards the front. There you go. And also this has a domed top ceiling roof system and that helps shed water off outside as well and it gives you plenty of head space in here I, again i am 6'1 and i've got about six inches above my head so i do not feel crammed in here whatsoever now the big question always is can you take this slide and slide it inward and still be functional the answer to that is absolutely yes so let me show you one thing that I did notice, if the slide was slid inward, it would be blocking that outlet right there, which I hate to see that they did that, but I believe that it would probably be blocking this um, HVAC control system as well. So notes to the factory, designers, engineers, whatever, all you gotta do is just move that over to here and the same with that outlet. If you had that outlet moved all the way over, 
you would definitely be in much better position. So uh, outside of that, that's the only thing that I see that I did not like about this particular one other than this vent that I mentioned earlier right over the bed. And of course, as I talked about the, uh, the air conditioning being up into the ceiling right here, this is your furnace unit. And if you'll notice a little duct right there, so you've got one on this end and there's also one on the other end as well. So uh, this size of a camper, that should be sufficient, I would think. So the good is you don't have to worry about there being floor vents and getting dog hair and junk down into the floor vent area. So uh, this should be a sufficient and effective for this size unit. Well, I've been looking forward to getting this video for a long time. Um, man, I tell you what, this is uh, this has always been one of my favorites. And this particular unit, the 21 FBRS, this was the first unit that I looked at back when I was shopping for one myself. But I did not have a vehicle strong enough to pull it, so that's why I didn't get one from uh, from the, the get-go. But uh, hey, I tell you what, folks, if y'all enjoy watching me and my channel here, I've also got another channel, and it is showing my vlog. It shows some of my travels, some of my personal lifestyle and such. So. Uh, Man, if y'all uh, think you might be interested in that, check it out. I've got down in the description below a link to my other channel. It's called the Dave and Muppy channel. Muppy is my little dog and I take her wherever I go. So uh, anyway, hey, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. And uh, hey, thanks to Northgate RV for uh, their hospitality and letting us uh, get out here and do some filming today. And uh, man, I tell you what, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And uh, Got plenty more to come from here and from a few other dealerships as well. Thanks, folks. Y'all have a great day. Hope to see y'all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.